Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's ordeal, which is Lake of Shadows. I'm using Well of Radiance, which middle tree of the Dawnblade subclass. I'm using Whispering Slab, which I think I've got Quick Draw, Snapshot or Quick Draw, but I've definitely got Demolitionist on it. Borealis to deal with all the shields. I've got the Fallen Guillotine. It's not the God Roll, it's, it's just it's the one you get from the Season Pass. I've got a Taken mod on it. I have... Uh, a ta four pieces of armor, helmet, gauntlets, leg armor, and bond that have all got taken mods on it. Uh, I've got one of each. And the chest plate has some of the mods from the season pass on it. Some of the mods from the artifact. So, uh, it's got high energy fire, which you need. It's got uh, counter charge, and it's got infernal whip. Now, counter charge is basically any time I stop a champion, I'll become charged with light. So that's what the green ones are on your, your mods. High energy fire is, whilst I'm charged with light, my weapons do a ton more damage. I think it's 20 or 30%, somewhere between there. Infernal whip is solar melees stop unstoppables. So I don't need to have an unstoppable. I've got uh, uh, overload rounds on my bow. Uh... And that's really the setup. Uh, nothing else really. I've got, as you can see, I've got solar major, minor resists. I've got, uh, I've got concussive dampener, which helps when there's fire on the floor. I won't take as much area of effect damage. And that's basically the character setup. Now I will link. There is a video on the channel showing you guys how to get taken armaments and armor and weapons without having to do the raid i'm gonna update that video in the next two days i reckon because now the warlock can get all the chests and i just want to cover the warlock jump as well because i've done the titan for it before so as you can see we're going to start this strike off we're going to change the borealis needs to be on arc because you've got a couple of arc shields in this first area so we're going to take we're going to put a grenade down on these scions and then we're going to go after the arc ones now Great thing about the Borealis is if you take take down a shield, if you match a shield and you take it down, the rest of the magazine now does more damage. So now that we've took those two, the, really, I think there's one more arc and it's the, kind of right at the end of this section. And then the rest, nearly all the rest we're going to have to deal with is solar. There's one void, but we'll do that with the sword. Uh... Now, as you can see, I'm, what I was trying to do here with these ads, I was really worried about these scions coming in here with a bow. Because, as I'm sure most of you are aware, they can reproduce and duplicate faster than you can kill them sometimes. So, But it actually worked out okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-grenade this, and then I'm going to try and get behind the unstoppable and melee him. As you can see, one melee stops him. The great thing about having this solar melee is it empowers you as well. So if you've got charged with light and that empower room, I think one's a buff and one's a debuff. So I think they work together. So I'm just changing the Borealis to solar. The only the only kind of the only thing I would say this loadout didn't do very well was take down blights, but there's only a couple of blights, I think two blights we've got to worry about, three blights. We've got to worry about. So, the greatest thing about this loadout is its range. You get a chance to take most of these ads from range. And I went with the Borealis. I would have loved to have used just a solar weapon. But then I'd have had to have... I mean, I probably could have just missed out the arc and just went straight in. You know, but I, I didn't really want to do that. The Borealis is perfect for doing... A number of different jobs you'll see as we go through they're really good for the overload uh, champions as well so as I say every time we stun a champion whether it's an overload with a bow or a merely a, a, an unstoppable which we've got another unstoppable here will become charged with light you need to have a mod on that will give you a way to become charged with light and then you need to have a mod on that will let you expel the charge of light that use it basically if you don't have one of each on, there's no point in having any of them on. Because there's no point in wasting a couple of energy slots on something to become charged for light if you can't use it. There's other ones I could have used. Lucent Blade I could have used. 
which increases sword damage but I, I chose to go with high energy fire you can see here I managed to get I managed to get a real good kind of melee got to be careful here what one time during this run I'm actually gonna have the problem that I thought I might have more than once um, I'm quite happy it was only once which was uh, I go to melee the, the unstoppable, uh, maybe was a little bit too slow in getting to the unstoppable and as I meleeed him he turned around with his shield and I meleeed his shield so he, I never actually stopped him but I still managed to kill him with and, and this is like the weakest of the bows I could have had. So you might have seen in the, 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 the start of the video I'm not a very high power level because this is my console account, I've only been back on this now for about 10 days maybe less. Yeah, let's it have been just 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 a week or just over a week. So this is my first overload. So you can see I'm stopping them with a bow. And then you'll see there on the left I'm charged with light. Right? I haven't killed him. Stop him again. I would now have two charge for lights. It doesn't I don't think it increases the damage you do having two of them, but you you can see I still have a charge with light, so the charge will like stays until you kill something and that high energy fire especially in here the high energy fire uh the high energy fire and the the the, the season pass mod i keep forgetting what it's called the one that allows you to become charge will like from stopping a champion brilliant for nightfalls just intrinsically very good there's, there's a number of really good mods you can have on there's a mod that you can you can put on that you can uh, you basically become charged with light every time you pick up an orb even if you've got a full super you do not need to have empty slots to do it I just kind of missed him he just got shielded off the goblins and now I've only got I've got two captains here but I've only got two rounds so what we're gonna do here I'm gonna try and stun one of them break one of the shields because I've got taken mods I'll put that grenade over and I'm just going to use the boat to finish luckily it was the elite we took down because kind of a cool thing here is I don't know if many of you guys will remember me saying before that explosive rounds damage red bar enemies through their elemental shields swords do the same thing so You'll see here, we're going to get down here because I have no special. Big hit, and it was taking his health down without touching too much of his shield. Now we've got full special, and we've got an unstoppable. So what we're going to do again, slide past him and turn. And that allowed us to melee him. His shield never really come into play. Now we've got two more. These Cabal, and we'll just take them out, no problem at all. And there we go. That's this section kind of almost done. The, the kind of heaviest enemies in this section are, are to come next. But the, the, as you'll see, it's, it's not a problem. So you're going to have to change to arc. Because there's, a, there's, there's kind of an arc boss here. The, we do have a, an overload champ. So I'm going to put a grenade down. You see it never hit anything, but they're going to push up. And most of them just walk straight into it. Now, I'll change to arc. I'm going to take a bit of, a bit of damage here. So, if this happens to you and you take a bit of damage here, just don't don't go too far. Just back away a little bit and kind of use this section. The Borealis, as I've said before, great thing is once you break the shield of an enemy, you do more damage for the rest of the magazine. Now, we're going to take down this overload. So, again, we're charged with light, doing good damage. And then get the bow shot back on. Now, for anybody that doesn't re realise, they've kind of got like crazy hair, these champions. Big hair coming at the top of their head. It looks like hair. When that's lit up, you can't you you can't stop them, stun them, break their shield, whatever. You can't do any of that. Uh, when the, the, their hair kind of, when, when it stops being lit up, you can stop them again. You may have seen me pick up that font of light. I forgot to mention I've got... Uh, is it an angel light or something that's a mod on from the season pass uh precision kills with a bow sniper a scout rifle produce fonts of health basically so i've got that on because i figured that would be pretty handy here so we've got three cha three captains here 
got in a heap of these kind of fall. You see, and these captains are solar shielded. And the, the taken thrall really took one for the for the kind of boss there. So come if that happens and they teleport, just make sure you come out, out of your scope so you can find them again. Once the shield was broke, just attack them with a sword. I've got Taken Armaments on as well. I've got all the Taken Mods on. As I've already said, I'll, I'll relink. I'll, I'll, it'll probably be tomorrow, the day after. won't be tonight now. That I'll put... Uh, I'll do the updated version of the Taken Mod video. Showing you guys how to get Taken Mods and Armour and stuff. Because it's all year four now. There, and we're just going to push them again. There we go, and we've got a bigger boss down here, a bigger solar boss, and we've got, as you can see, I'm just going to put a grenade down there, and you'll see I'll get a bit, of, a bit of heavy there, always, always good. You can head glitch this boss from up top, you know, just kind of make yourself very hard to hit. And once I, once I stop him, I didn't have full heavy attack there, but still done quite a bit of damage. Now we're going to have uh, a taking cabal and an unstoppable out here so i'm going to put a rift put a grenade and i'm going to put a rift down and then slide pass i didn't actually slide but i just kept moving see how much damage the sword does if it's got a charged heavy attack that is it sword master's guard would be really good for that part if you've got that god roll sword which i do on pc i actually i actually got almost a god roll today i got everything but sword masters so but I'd already done this run. I'd done this this afternoon. Uh, it is Friday I'm talking about. So this should go up in the next half hour from when I'm doing this commentary. And I've got a couple. I've got another video I'm going to put out with this. I'm going to put out a video just to explain to you guys where I've been and what I've been doing. Cause it's been about four months since I made any content. I, I, I reckon you guys deserve an explanation and my thoughts on this season and november so that'll be coming out just after i upload this video but as you can see again bow sniper trying to do everything from range so i took out as many ads as i could after the unstoppable from up here same thing again with the overload stop them and then you've got charge with light i've got times two because i stopped them twice I put a grenade up here it never killed all of them but it killed enough that i wasn't going to get overrun with these scions there's a couple over here. Now there is another. There's another overload. Uh, down, down on, the, down on the, the the platform, and there's an unstoppable. So what we're going to try and do is just clear the clear the way a little bit with these just normal taken vandals. But first, we've got to deal with these scions. I let the I let the wanted enemy just go. So there's another one that we know we now know we've got one more of those snipers there's still a heap of those ads be careful with these book things always move forward uh carefully and be be very considerate of your surroundings when you're moving forward don't just push up to get a kill because there's nothing worse than actually getting booked off the edge and that being you know it's just annoying so be very careful and can can consider it when you're moving forward Jump up here to take the last un uh, overload. I'm just going to use my bow to take this uh, sniper. And then we'll stop. And then as you can see, same thing again. And stay almost at the back here because there's one of the taken boot, boot things right in front of us. And as long as we're here, we won't have to deal with any, any kind of unwanted mishaps. Again, when I wanted to stop the unstop of the the overload again, I'm waiting for that book to go, and then I can go in. I've only got five rounds. I cannot attack, not from this range. So what I'm going to do is take these these sounds. Now I've got 17 rounds. I'm going to go up top. I put a couple of shots on, and then he moves behind, and and I can't hit him now. So I'm going to go up top here. And then I can hit him regardless of where he is. All we've got left here now, after we take down this, this big 
taking night. All we've got left is a normal cabal and an unstoppable. They're both together. So we're going to drop down here. And just over here. There you go. So we'll just put a grenade there. And then get the melee. I never had my, my big attack. But it's no problem. There is one more sticky area. We're going to one phase the boss. So there's one more sticky area. And this is... I, I didn't anticipate this little part here. So you've got these, these kind of thrall. Now what you want to do is take out, if you can, take this knight up here. And then it means when you're fighting the unstoppable, you don't have to worry about fire. Now there are all these knight, all these ads are kind of blocking each other. But I don't have a melee. So I can't, one thing you definitely could do is make sure you've got uh, a decent amount of strength now my strength isn't too bad i think i've got four or four or five strength almost got my melee back uh, you could you could put on an exotic that gives you two melee charges i think claws of amkara do it for the warlock i just waited and it gave me an opportunity take out the rest of the goblins here comes the unstoppable so i'm going to back away again i've almost got my melee but it was all for nothing because you'll see here I'm gonna, when as soon as my melee comes i'm going to do what i've done with the rest of them i'm going to slide out and just as i go to melee turn so slide out and he just turned and completely tanked my full melee but because i took the ads because I took the ads here, and also I lost my charge for light. Because I took the ads, the the the, the knight, put down a, a rift, some health back. Because because I took that uh, captain, I didn't have to deal with any any fire. That would have killed me. Put a grenade there, and I've got some heavy over here. So that was really the only sticky moment I felt like I had in this whole run. The rest of it is very kind of straightforward. We've got uh, one more champion. Take this. We've got, we know we've got this guy here. And we know we've got another one up top. I was just having to look to see if I could see him from down here. Now, as I've said before, I think I've said before, I had a take him damage mod on my sword. If you've... Obviously, I think that gives you a 10% damage against take him. I do not have, uh, for anybody that's like, oh, I, but I don't have that mod. I don't have, like, the kind of god roll sniper. So if you have, you're going to be doing more damage with that sniper than I was doing with mine. It might actually make up for the damage I couldn't do with my sword. So, plus higher power level. You know, there's all these things to take into consideration. I think my gear is like 5'2". So if you're 1060 gear, you're going to be doing more damage than I was anyway. Very simple run, I think. I think most people are agreed that it's not the easiest. It's not the hardest. It's not the easiest, but it's probably the quickest nightfall. Probably, I suppose that makes it the easiest as well. Just push over this night, this wizard, sorry. This is the only void, void enemy really you've got to deal with. And we've got one more champion. Now that was, it seemed like to start with when I threw that grenade, I thought I'd wasted it. But it just kept all the, the acolytes, the, the thrall right in front of me. Which wasn't too much of a bad thing. Got a normal taken vandal up top. Take him out. Now we've got a whole host of enemies here. Now because I've got demolitionist, I'm getting my grenade back quite quickly. Now I have got a reason, I think I've got six grenade, five or six grenade energy anyway. Maybe more than that. But having Demolitionist on, on the bow really helped get my grenades back. And there we go. Now we've just got one more fallen uh, taken vandal. He's up here. And then it's a and then it's an, an, an overload. Come down. Stop the overload. But I kind of messed up here. I missed a couple of heads. And then by the time he was ready to be stopped again, I missed the first stop. He almost had full health. So I stopped him here and then just pushed him with the sword. 
from here on in, it's just a melt, an exercise in meltage. Now all we've got to do is, this, I think it's, a, it's just a normal red bar taking night here with a solar shield and a couple of thrall. I'm going to throw the grenade, try and break the shield, do a bit of damage to everything inside the well, inside the blight. And then I'll just push him with the sword. As you can see, it just kills him inside his solar shield. I'm not touching his shield, but I can kill him inside it. Only works with red bar enemies. So I've used the sniper to take down the blight. Now all we're going to do is we're going to put our well down, and then we're going to go after the boss. Now as a save, you've got, I, I've got, if you're a boss spec on, I think you do 7 or 8% extra damage with a boss spec. You do 10% with the taking, but the sword I've got is just not very good. The perks aren't very good. Uh, but as you can see, it makes light work of him. And that is the run, guys. Make sure, as you can see, I'm going to put down my well here. Uh, just make sure that you clear some of these ads as well. You know. And that's the run, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As I say, there's going to be a couple of videos up over the next couple of days just to help with stuff like this and, you know, other stuff. I'm going to get a video out explaining what's been happening and, you know, my views on what, how the, what the game's like at the moment. Hope you guys check that one out as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And until the next video, you take it easy, guys.